Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain four loops in C sharp. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, for loops. A for loop will repeat some code a finite amount of times. Unlike with while loops, a while loop will execute an infinite amount of times as long as its condition remains true. For loops are limited. So let's create a for loop to, I don't know, count to 10. So let's create a for loop by typing for parentheses curly braces. And within the for loop, the parentheses of the for loop, there's three separate statements we're going to fill in. The first is that we need some sort of counter or index to keep track of which iteration we're on within the for loop. So let's declare an index int index, and I will assign zero to begin with. So people usually just shorten index to simply I for short. So that is the first statement. The second statement is our condition. When do we want to stop? So let's stop when I is greater than or equal to 10. So we'll just say I is less than 10. So it's kind of like we'll continue this for loop as long as I is less than 10. And once we hit 10, we'll stop. And then the third statement is how much do we want to increment or decrement our index by? So you can write I plus equals one to increment by one, or another variation is just I plus plus. So after each iteration, we'll increment I, our counter, our index by one. And during each iteration, let's display whatever I is. So after running this code, we will execute this for loop 10 times, and we will count the numbers zero through nine. So if we want one through 10, we can change our index to one, int I equals one, and we will continue this for loop as long as i is less than or equal to 10. And then our for loop will execute a total of 10 times and count the numbers 1 through 10. And you can also skip iterations too, like we can increment our index i by 2. i plus equals 2. Now this for loop is going to execute 5 times. We're incrementing our index by 2 during each iteration. Let's change this to three, i plus equals three. And this will execute four times, one, four, seven, 10. Okay, let's do something a little bit different. Let's count down. Let's pretend that we're counting down to a new year. So we'll start at 10 and count down to one, then display happy new year. So four parentheses, curly braces, we'll set index i to equal 10 to begin with. We'll continue this as long as i is greater than zero, then we will decrement i by one during each iteration. So you can use minus minus or minus equals one. Either variation works. Okay, so after each iteration, we will display i, then when we exit our for loop, we will display happy new year within a right line statement. So happy new year. Let's try it. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year. So everybody, those are for loops. They will repeat some code a finite amount of times. Unlike with a while loop, a while loop will execute some code infinitely as long as its condition remains true. A for loop is limited in that regard. Well, everybody, those are for loops. If you can, give this video a big fat thumbs up, drop a random comment down below, and well, those are for loops in C-sharp.